envelope with all of the collateral. So let's go ahead and take off this shrink wrap. Oops, as I damage it. I'm joking. All right, again, apologize. All right. So there is the device. Let me get some of this box out of the way. All right. So again, there's the device. There's the right side. There's the left side. Now the keyboard layout is a little bit different. I know from previous that this won't pass the single hand. Um, it does have their little screen protector on. I'll probably leave that on. There's the keyboard. There's the power button. And that's my fingerprint reader right there. All right. So let's see if this has any juice. I'll go ahead and power this on. And there's the boot up. Screen's really reflective. Still defaults to portrait mode, just like the last one. I haven't had confirmation on this, but I think they're probably using tablet screens for these, or they were marked as tablet screens. All right. All right, so I'm going to set this up, and then I'll do a comparison. Um, we'll check out to see if the Surface Pen works, because it's supposed to work with this one. So give me a couple minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're all booted up. Um, it sets out with a fairly high DPI scaling. So go ahead and close that. As expected, it's pulled down my theme. Here's you know the mouse pointer. Right, left click. One thing I'm sure everybody wants to see. I'm just going to walk over here real quick and kill the lights. It's still pretty daylight. Let's see if we can get the backlight. So much nicer than the last version. The 2S did not have a backlit keyboard, so that's super nice. All right, I'm going to turn the lights back on. All right. So, here's the device. Standard start menu. Go in here. Touch screen is responsive. Set at 250. That's a little bit big for me. I'm going to try 150. A lot smaller, but for me, that's still readable, even with my old eyes. And it gives me a lot more screen real estate. This is a 2K display rather than a HD display. Uh, comes out with pretty good battery life. Interested to see what version. And so our build number, ooh, old, 1803. So. This is well over a year old. Um, for those of you worried about post mo pulse modulation, the screen definitely has that. You can see that in the video. All right. So let's go ahead and try to turn this. This hinge is less stiff than before. So folds back. Whoa, sorry about that. It's hard to do this with one hand. Auto rotation works. This is going to be much better 
for e-reading, Kindle, that kind of thing. So I'm kind of excited about that. All right, let's flip this back over.